Digital Wallonia is certainly an, a brand which is more and more known, perhaps not yet by the Dutch people because uh, it's not yet arrived there, but at least uh, this Digital Wallonia dynamic is present now since two years and I want to, in five minutes, which is a, a clear, uh, I would say, a challenge, I want to, in five minutes uh, to recap what is Digital Wallonia and what is about open data in Digital Wallonia. So, uh, first, this uh, name is covering three aspects, a strategy, a platform and a brand. Strategy, clearly, this is the policy of the region government about digital. The intention at the end of 2015 was really to define a, a clear, coherent plan around digital in our territory here in Wallonia. And this uh, strategy has been crowdsourced in 2015 and it is put into uh, practice, into action since 2016, so now since two years. And this uh, plan really aims to cover different thematics and these thematics are um, listed here on these slides. Clearly the core of these thematics is the digital sector, the ICT sector in Wallonia to make it to make it stronger. Second was it is the digital transformation of the economy, so the use of digital inside the companies in order to be more uh, competitive, in, to be, in order to be more innovative. Third is the public services with a clear, uh, I would say, uh, uh, stress on open data. Fourth is the uh, inter, uh, digital uh, territory, smart and connected territory. This is clearly to develop the connectivity high speed across the territory in different sector. And finally, for sure, the fifth uh, sector is skills. So all, all these evolutions in our regions is only possible with the good level in terms of skills, education, not only in terms of IT peoples, but also in terms of the citizenships, I would say, regarding the, the digital evolutions and the way to use new applications and to, to use more new services coming from the government. So these five, uh, topics, thematics have been covered by the strategy and there is a plan which has been financed, by the way, uh, which is for sure the, the most important, which has been financed on four years, so 16 until 19, and we are really now good, well progressing on these plans. Perhaps to, be, to, to have a focus on open data, you see on the uh, public services enabling an open government approach, uh, Clearly, open data is now putting on the top of the agenda of the, of the public services. First, the, the, the law installing the PSI uh, 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 initiative of Europe in uh, Wallonia is adopted, will be finalized in the coming weeks in terms of execution, but this is already an important step which is a little bit, uh, which, was, which was longer than expected, but indeed at the end it is now uh, more or less okay. Second, we have now already started a lot of actions with different partners, whatever the, the public services, whatever the, the, the cities, to explain what is the value, and uh, we just explained this, but to stress what is the value of open data, what is open data, what is data governance, and how to really keep the control on our, our data inside the, the public services. So these activities or these sensibilization plans are now starting and will be extended this year. Third, clearly, is to uh, promote the open data as a, the fuel for business, clearly, and, and we will see some, uh, some uh, uh, session today where the open data is used by private partners to boost some businesses uh, inside the region. And at the end, the platform, so the portal, open data portal from Wallonia, which is uh, plugged on the open Belgium for sure, but this open data platform in Wallonia will be improved until the end of June, together with the, the Brussels region, and uh, we will really have a, a, a more, uh, I would say, attractive and a more user-friendly open data portal in the coming months. So these are the, the, the three or four major elements which are now put into practice, put into action in our regions, and I hope that this, uh, at the end of the 2018, so for the next session of Open Belgium in 19, will be, be uh, still better than today in Wallonia. So this is my five minutes, and I hope that we'll, you will enjoy the event today. And if you, have, if you want to have more information about Digital Wallonia and how we are progressing in our policy, 
indeed there is a stand, a booth just uh, above. Thank you and have a good session.